Guys, when they walk into my show, they had been believing when they heard the sound that probably it's a it's a white guy from the <laughs> from the west <laughs> doing country. Thank you very much. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Nairobi City in Kenya. Yes, and this is where we usually have our Sunday evening concert. I was born the year that Elvis Presley died. So when my mom gave birth to the baby boy, she wanted the baby boy to be named Elvis. But when I woke up this morning, I'm a country music artist. Country music has been here since the 50s and 60s. Sometimes it's a uh, pleasant surprise to many people, but then when they walk in and actually realize that I'm an African and it's really crazy for them. I listen to a lot of country music because my parents loved to listen to country and we had country vinyls and cassettes all over the place. There are several guys who went to the US for education program and when they came back home came back home with some country songs because that was way back then and country was big this is my pretty good guitar it's uh, an acoustic Yamaha we are kind of like a farming country mainly so uh, that is one of the aspects about the country music that actually speaks to us that we are farmers and so we resonate with that I dream of a golden moon. I moved to Norway in 1986. I stayed in Norway from 1986 until uh, 2002, December, and I was back. I wanted to come back home. I also felt that because people in Kenya love country music, it would be ideal if we did country music from Nairobi.